Hello, this is Coffee Hound Retro Sharker, and welcome back to Nostalgic Nibbles. We take a light bite of a retro game, not a big bite, just a wee nibble for 30 or so minutes. A sharky showcase, if you will. On today's menu, we have something I've been planning to do for a while, which is to showcase some Amiga PD games. Some of my favourites I remember playing back in the day. It's something I haven't, I don't see a lot talked about. I'm sure it gets talked about on the forums, and I know there's a lot of respect for the PD scene. But yes, I wanted to do, uh, do some showcasing of it myself, because there are some some little gems on there that I've almost got as much play as actual games as we bought in my in, in my family. We played quite a few, but they're a suite of our own of our own favourite ones, which I'll be showcasing today. Um, this will probably run for a little bit longer than thirty minutes, I, I think, depending how how many I want to get through. Maybe three or four. But yes, it's been a it's been a couple of weeks since uh, the last nostalgic balls with their uh, Z Wolf, and yeah, I've come back all fired up after a bit of a break from it uh, last weekend. So yeah, um, let's get get rolling. So here we are. This is uh, the first and one of the more notorious ones I I feel. Uh, zombie Apocalypse. It's a Berlin per, per domain shareware. I remember this this um, webbench screen quite well. I wasn't quite aware of the the the, the scale of that like, European scale of the PD scene and the uh, cracking scene. So yeah, seeing this is uh, quite 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 nostalgic for me now. So we are click to run zombies. I think it's share where else. Let's have a look. Is is it? Uh, let's have a look at the info. Ah, oh, PB more. I remember that. Oh gosh. Oh, it's uh, my German is a bit rusty. Belly in the 90th September 1991. Right, uh, let's see then. Let's click to run zombies. There we go. Running X icon, uh, the, the, uh, the memories being allocated. Picking down. I hope you're. Uh, Having a relaxing and cosy weekend for those working. I hope you have uh, a relaxing week ahead if you've got time off. Again, so my window watching the uh, the snow slowly drop from the trees. It's warmed up a bit now. We had quite a heavy snowfall overnight. And it's been a bit of a winter wonderland. But now I can see it all dropping away. <laughs> Here we are, zombie apocalypse. This got a lot of play <laughs> in our house. In Blitz Basic too. Thank you, Paul Andrews. So it's a uh, a target shooting game. Uh, quite, uh, I should have mentioned, it's quite a uh, gratuitously gory one. Taking down his zombies, his dead heads. Ah, he grenade death. Well, uh, a second, a second death. Grenade on the. Kill more, three more zombies. Ammo. Ooh, accuracy 30, 32% or 82%? I can't tell. Probably 32%. The sprites remind me of uh, the digitized ones that you saw in. Uh, some arcade games at the time, things like um, Terminator 2 and uh, Alien Through the Gun. Oh, I think we're out of ammo there. I wasn't picking up the uh, boxes. Oh, oh dear, quick. Yes, your, uh, oh yes, your ammo with state carries out, it doesn't recharge after each level. There we go. That's better. (laughs) 
Here we go. Level four. Ah, change the scenery. Oh dear. That, uh, that city in the background isn't doing too well. No, you don't. Oh. Hey, raising our accuracy a little bit. No, you don't stop there. Ooh. Oh, we're in trouble. Unfortunately, you don't get uh, extra extra damage for uh, headshots. Get some ammo quickly. Oh, game over. life ebbs away as we rise again to join the uh, living dead ravaging the world oh no so yeah there, <laughs> there we go zombie apocalypse there's not much more to that but it was uh, one of those things you just put on the play and just, just lose yourself in the, the mindless clicking it mindless action uh, yeah I, I hear there's a second one I've never played that I remember this where did we get this from? I wonder if it came on an Amiga Power manual, uh, manual magazine. I remember buying a, us buying a couple of PD discs, but I think the majority of the ones we got we had were a, a PD games we played were from uh, cover discs like the One Amiga and One Amiga and uh, Amiga Power and uh, Amiga Format and whatnot. Uh, I don't think there's, there's there's not much too much game to this to showcase. So I think we'll move on to our next game, and we'll keep a, a rapid clip because that's uh, seven minutes down already on this. So yes, I will uh, be right back with a different game, and we are back with another new game, Wizard's Quest, translated from German by the Amigos. This is one of my uh, other favourite PD games that I play quite a bit, in part because it reminded me of. One of my old favourite C64 games, Solomon's Key. So we'll hit uh, we'll hit play here. Oh, I got to say, we'll be flashed by <laughs> amazingly bright lights. Welcome to Wizard's Quest by Guido and Soren Appenzeller in 1990. Oh, this is one of the, yeah, uh, this, this is a cute intro, I remember, and being charmed by it's, uh, <laughs> calling for all the little game components. Come on, anim animation sequences. Where are you? Now we want levels and levels. Are these the doors? Hmm, could be. What a sign above the door. No smoking. I hope that dragon can read. These gravestones must be from our predecessors. Oh, the inscription reads, Killed by skeletons, now resting. So they didn't even make it. To the dragon. I'll make a magic shield around me. So now I'm invincible. Oh, what are you about me? Now I'm invincible. Help him, I think. We're being followed. To old wizard. Oh, I think you're in the wrong. Hmm, if you say so. Let's go. To old wizard out of venturing. Oh, I think they are being followed by uh, uh, 10% of the uh, d d monster manual.
So yes, it's. Uh, I really thought they were the charm. It reminds me of. Uh, I used to, I used to do little animations in D Paint Deluxe Paint Three probably as well. Little scenes. It's there. Uh, very crude little sprites I could draw, animate. Let's see. I was having trouble last time. Last time I played this, I had trouble with. Uh, I'm still having trouble. Why am I having trouble? Why can't I move this zappy cursor thing? I've got now host device, that's why. Oops. That could be why. That's better. Whoops. Here we go. Uh, there, there was a story so far, but uh, it, it contains some stuff that um, uh, is not appropriate. Let's see. Important keys. Pause. Play, speed of play. Level end. Other, others. Read the instructions. So there's our Wizzy. Yeah, level one. Guess a little tutorial one. Welcome to Wizzy's Quest. So this, you form blocks and solve puzzles using your uh, wizardly powers. And we can actually jump a little bit as well, so. But yes, this is why it reminded me quite a bit of uh, Salomon's Key. So there's a first very simple level. Done. Oh no! Right, we need to. Oops, <laughs> we need to go to our uh, our friend here, who's made himself and not as invincible. I had my eyes on there. Uh, the prize of gems. Controls aren't aren't the most responsive. It's just a bit stiffer than I remembered. Come along then. I think he's he's got his head stuck in a uh, book of spells. There we go. After you. Ah, now we've got enemies this time. I know, well, one enemy. Can we, uh, does it work like, uh, ah, unlike Solomon's key, though, that they don't take the block away. Oops, I need to go in. Ah, there we go. Ah. Yes, I think I have more joy this way. I make sure he doesn't walk uh, that way. Towards the uh, Reapery Ghost. Come along then. That must be an awfully good book for him to uh, still have his head stuck in there. There we go. I think we'll do one more level. This little there. Uh, little wee peek at it. Before we move on to another game. Oh, 
Ooh, it's just like a, must be like a little bonus one then. Are they gems? Are they jelly beans? I think I think they're magic beans. Beans of sorcery. Come along then, hurry up. Can we tap our uh, tap our staff impatiently? No, we can't. Boo. You're still reading that book. You're still reading that book? Yes, I am. Can I see? No. Ugh, how mean. Do you, do you think it's a, a, a naughty book for wizards? <gasps> Scandal. It's wizard, wizards, uh, sorceresses uh, illustrated. Right, let's, uh, I'm just going to block you up here. What? What? Ah, this is quite an easy one, this is. Oh, though timing is essential. Right, let's, uh, since we can walk through him. There we go, that's better. Oh no. No. Oh, that was close. Oh no. Oh no, and then we got the. Th oh, I think, yeah, we've. Because uh, he can't climb blocks. So yeah, he's stuck there. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, it's just uh, since since he didn't make us bother to make us invulnerable, um, we'll just uh, give him a nice cozy. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I can't get out of here. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll I'll continue the adventure then. And thus, he was left behind. And we'll leave Wizzy's quest behind for now, as we move on to another game. So I will be right back in just a tick. And we are back with our third and final game in this first episode of delving into Amiga PD games. I've saved what I regard as the best to last. Uh, one of my favourite Amiga games full stop. And a source of considerable Amiga nostalgia. And one hell of a theme tune. So yes, that's uh, yeah, that's an amazing theme tune. One of those that stuck in my head uh, for years, even after I forgot the name of the game, just stuck in my head. And this was what one of the most played games in my family's house. We're all especially with the uh, two player two player split screen. It's basically a new ta new take new take on uh, asteroids, uh, but with some cool graphical um, tweaks and effects. And yeah. So here we go. We start with three ships. Our flexibility is very low. Our firepower is very low. Our shield is very low. Push five level one. I think it's about 120 levels, I think. Um, I can actually remember like, playing through them all uh, with either my brother or my uh, dad playing split screen. Thank you. 
So yeah, it's very simple stuff. Just to uh, clear each area. I can't remember if it's a shield or not. I thought it was a, an upgrade. But I was, always thought the uh, the rotating, like the fixed ship perspective, we rotates, you rotate space around you, was really cool. Here we go, so that was there. Uh, it's hot, hot, heating up a bit now. at uh, Space Rock. Right, I think, uh, but I think, is it F1? I think it's F1, like in, there we are, we bought ourselves an extra ship. I think it's quite neat that the uh, the the uh, mini map radar is overlaid right up uh, right under us. I can't remember if there's a shield button or not. I see shield there very low. I'm going to buy one first. That's uh, quite a formation of winged, uh, winged Fanta there, I think. So seven up, seven up bottles. An alien race, too poor to afford anything other than pop bottles for starships. Level four, so yeah, the levels go very quickly. Oh, right back into the action. For the shield, so I got shield low. I, uh, I don't know how we can attack, uh, uh, activate our shield. Getting very crowded now. Ah, it's like, it's like a passive shield. Yeah, we took a shot. We took a hit there. Uh, Sixteen thousands. We're we're saved up for some firepower.
and some more little nimble things getting there Few left now. <sighs> Almost there. Ah, totally not star uh, tie fighters. That was close. Almost collided with it. Ah, now we can afford our firepower. We'll go a few more levels. That looks like uh, um, a pineapple. <laughs> pineapple turret. Ah, we've. Uh, it's a race of evil, evil sentient vegetables intent on ca capturing the galaxy. Capturing? Conquering the galaxy. Take that, evil vegetables. There we go. I couldn't quite. Oh, couldn't quite turn. Oh, there we go. So that was Transplant, a uh, very fun shooter, especially in two-player co-op. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been nostalgic revisiting these, and uh, really enjoyed uh, really enjoyed showing them off. Just three of my favourites, and there are uh, quite a few other ones I'll return to for future episodes of. Uh, delving into a Amiga PD and I hope you'll join me for him I hope you enjoyed this one so then yeah until uh, until the next episode of Nostalgia Nibbles this is Coffee Hound Retro Sharker signing off